Today in Bloxburg, I found two hospitals across the street from each other, but one was for boys only and the other was for girls only. The two head doctors were out front yelling at each other and things were getting pretty heated, so I wanted to check this out. Guys, this is seeming kind of bad to me. I've never seen a girls hospital and a boys only hospital. I mean, hospitals should just be focused on taking care of everyone, right? Like this whole concept doesn't make any sense to me, but oh, 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 Dr. Sabrina, the head doctor at the girls hospital just said, you should just shut down your hospital already. Just looking at it makes my patients sick. And Dr. Zeke said, shut up. A crazy chick like you isn't even qualified to be a doctor. Okay, you guys, it looks like these two head doctors are clearly getting more heated in their argument. And honestly, they should just be focused on being good doctors and taking care of people. I need to just calm them down so they can get back to their job. So I'm just gonna say, hey guys, chill the heck out. Oh, they still look really mad, you guys, and now they're looking at me. Uh, Dr. Zeke just said, what? And Dr. Sabrina said, who are you? Okay, listen, I know I don't know you people, but you're doctors, okay? Why are you fighting. You should be taking care of people. That's what doctors do. Dr. Sabrina just said money, duh, because there's two hospitals around. We have to decide who gets funding from the city and it should be me since my hospital is better. And Dr. Zeke just said the money should be mine. My hospital is better. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I cannot believe these two doctors are actually this focused on fighting about money. I have an idea. Why don't you just combine hospitals, okay? And then there doesn't have to be like a like a boy side or girl side. You can just be a hospital. Dr. Zeke said, yeah, right. I'd never work with her. She's crazy. Oh, geez, guys, don't ever call an angry woman crazy. That'll just make it worse. Sabrina just said, oh, shut up. Oh, yeah, I told you. I told you it's just gonna make it worse. She just said, working with me is amazing. My nurses love it. She said, in fact, I have an idea. Okay, now we're here to some type of solution and... Why is she coming up to me? Oh no. Oh guys, I have a bad feeling about this. What did I do? She just said, we're both short on staff. So how about you work at both hospitals and then decide which one is better? Guys, I really didn't plan to get involved. She said, you can interview the patients, talk to our other staff, whatever you want. Then the better hospital gets the money. Oh, this seems like a bad idea, but if helping them make this decision gets them to stop fighting and actually take care of people, it might not be a bad idea. But Dr. Zeke just said, that's not fair, she's a girl. She'll just vote for you. Well, I actually might know a guy who can help. You know, go into your side, look around, and then it'll be fair. Zeke just said, well, if that's the case, fine. Okay, fine, I'll help, and then we'll get this all settled. Dr. Sabrina just said, great, it's settled then. I'll see you when you're back. All right, guys, I guess I just signed up to work at a hospital. I don't really know what I got myself into, but I'm really hoping that Dylan says yes to helping me with this. Okay, you guys, I am out in front of Dylan's house right now, and I still see both of his cars, so I know for sure that he is home, and hopefully I can get him to help me with this whole hospital situation. Why is his door locked? What? Normally, I could just walk right in, Dylan. Oh, hey, hey, Carrie. What? Hey, hi, hi, how you doing? Why is your door locked? I have a feeling you need me for something and I do not want to get involved. How did you even know I was coming? What the heck? Well, you see, uh, I installed security cameras that would alert me every time you showed up. And uh, honestly, this is around the time of day you would show up to ask me to do something. So uh, yeah, I'm prepared and I'm not getting involved in anything crazy. Wait, 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 but listen, it's really, really important that you help me this time. What is it? Okay, listen, we both gotta work at a boys hospital and a girls hospital so that these doctors stop fighting so that their patients don't die, okay? This is a life or death situation. Seriously? Life or death? If they don't stop fighting, their patients are gonna die. Uh, okay, you know, fine. I will help you, <laughs> but Yay! wait, 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 wait. I have a condition. What? I will help you with this one single situation, but after, I'm not getting involved in anything ever again. Okay, fine. Great. All right, meet you in the car. Okay, guys, he's probably gonna end up helping me with stuff like this in the future, but I'm just gonna agree to make him happy. All right, we're going to the hospital. Hurry up, get in the car. I I'm here, I'm here, everything's fine. Let's go to the hospital. Okay, we have officially arrived at the boys' hospital and the girls' hospital.
hospital. These buildings are huge. Well, yeah, they're hospitals. Okay, you're going to be working at this boys' hospital, and I'll be across the street at the girls' hospital. Got it? Okay, but, uh, Carrie, you, you do realize I have no idea what to do, right? I am not a doctor. I am just a YouTuber. Listen, it's fine. We're probably not even going to do anything that serious. Check in on a couple of patients, take their temperature. Mostly, we're just looking around, getting the vibes, and then later we'll decide which hospital's better. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a bad feeling about this, okay? The two head doctors that are arguing and stuff, they have huge egos, and, uh... Yeah, they, they, no shot. They're good people. What if I find something bad and they like inject me with like a weird medicine? In that case, it will be super easy to decide which hospital gets the money. So just man up and get to work, okay? Don't be afraid. That doesn't solve my problem if they inject me with weird med- Okay, you know, fine. They're not fine. gonna inject you with anything. Just go work. Fine. All right, you guys, I am inside the girls' hospital and right off the bat, it is super cute in here. Everything's pink and it is very clean, which is a good sign considering this this is a hospital. So, oh, oh, there is Sabrina. I'm just gonna say a uh, hi. She just said, Carrie, you're here. Welcome back. Okay, guys, she looks a lot happier than she looked earlier, which is a good sign. She just said, are you ready to work? I'm just gonna say, sure am. I will say I may have been a little overly confident. I know I told Dylan to just like, do the work, but I also am a little afraid to be working in a hospital. Oh, Dr. Sabrina just said, great. First, you'll need to change into some scrubs. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait, this is so cute. Okay, maybe I would have worked in a hospital sooner if I knew I was gonna get to wear a cute outfit. I'm just gonna say, I love these. It got little hearts on them too. Sabrina just said, luckily all our patients are very well taken care of and nobody needs any emergency attention. So you can go check on one upstairs. She just recovered from a broken leg, but she's doing great now. Got it. Okay, guys, that is a relief considering there's no emergencies happening right now. I definitely think I can handle that. And Dr. Sabrina just said, great. Just let me know if you need me. I'm gonna say, uh, will do, guys. Clearly, Sabrina is very confident in her hospital and in her patients, especially since she is giving me full access to literally everything here. She didn't say there was nowhere I couldn't go, anything suspicious. And, you know, considering how up to date and fancy this hospital looks, it might be hard for the boys' hospital to match up to this one. Okay, you guys, I am upstairs, and according to Dr. Sabrina, there should be a patient right here in this room. And guys, sometimes hospitals are secretly super terrible to their patients. So hopefully this one isn't like that and the patients are actually well taken care of. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock. Oh, patient Piper just said, come in. Okay. And wait, hold on. Is that her over there? What the? She's doing sit-ups off the couch? She just said, are you the new nurse? I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah. Oh, she's still in a cast and she's doing jumping jacks. What the heck? I'm just gonna say, um, I, I came to, to check on you and, you know, see how you're feeling and everything. But guys, clearly she has plenty of energy. Piper just said, I feel great. Dr. Sabrina's medical skills are like magic. Oh, and she's doing push-ups. Holy cow, guys, she's got an entire your workout routine. I mean, obviously you have to be a pretty good doctor to own your own hospital, but this is kind of unreal. She just said, I can already jump around. I'm just gonna say, so, um, how's the healing process been? You know, guys, I kind of want to know about what it's been like to recover in the hospital. Piper just said, fantastic. The doctor and nurses treat me like royalty. I mean, clearly this room is also super nice. Piper just said, they're so caring. It's so comforting that everyone's a girl too. I guess that makes sense. Piper just said, they know exactly how I I feel. I'm just gonna say that's so good to hear. Guys, I am glad that she's clearly being well taken care of. And honestly, that's all I needed to know. So I'm just gonna say thanks for talking to me and let me know if you need anything else. All right, I'm here all day, so might as well help out. Guys, I cannot wait to tell Dr. Sabrina how awesome her patient is doing. Oh, guys, she's talking to uh, Nurse Nora and said the reports are in, ma'am. The boys haven't cured a patient in weeks? Guys, are they talking about how poorly the boys' hospital is doing right now? Sabrina just said, at this rate, it doesn't even matter we're better than them. They'll just get shut down no matter what. Wait, guys, I know Dr. Sabrina wanted that extra money for her hospital, but why would she want the boys' hospital to shut down? I mean, that would mean no boys would get any medical care, and that 
Definitely wouldn't be good. This place is girls only. Dr. Sabrina just said, follow me. Let's go check on the machine to make sure everything stays working. Wait, what machine are they talking about? And Nora said, yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 wait, guys, guys, they're coming this way. I've got to hide. I cannot let them know I was eavesdropping. Oh, geez, oh, geez, where are they going? They're turning down another hallway now. And I'm not gonna lie, I have a feeling that these girls are up to something bad, especially if they're talking about some weird machine. So I guess now I have to follow them and see what's going on. Okay, guys, so I'm inside the boys' hospital right now, and so far, uh, Dr. Zeke, uh, the head doctor, he's pretty nice. Uh, he just said, so this is one of our patient rooms. Okay, nice, nice. I've gotten like a full tour of the facility. Pretty solid, but the weird thing is, I haven't seen any patients anywhere. He just said, now if you follow me, I have one more place to show you. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, okay, Dr. Zeke, I will follow you. I did expect this place to be a lot weirder than it is, but it looks like a normal hospital. Dr. Zeke just said, that's the surgery room over there. We make sure to clean it multiple times a day. Okay, so this is where, you know, they do all of like the intensive care stuff. This is standard. The part that's not standard is the fact that uh, this place is like a ghost town. There's nobody here. Hold on, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say everything is uh, great. But I have a question, sir. Where are all of the patients? Seriously, I have never been to a hospital and there hasn't been like one sick person somewhere. He just said, P patients? Oh, um, about that. Wait, 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 guys. This dude has been super like confident, like giving me the tour the entire time. But uh, now he's, did he just start frowning? Wait, 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 what? He just said, the truth is, the hospital is in bad shape. Wait, 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 whoa. Y'all, I, I did not ask this man to vent, but I here we are. He just said a few weeks ago, there was a chemical leak in our hospital and it got someone sick? Wait, what? This is the place where you're supposed to cure people from chemicals. What do you mean? He just said, don't worry, we have it mostly contained. Mostly? He just said, but it did get one of our patients sick. We haven't been able to cure him, so because of that, nobody has trusted our hospital ever since. Okay. This does not sound like a hospital that is deserving of money, especially considering they've been keeping this under wraps. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say, can I uh, meet the patient? Let me see how sick this dude really is. Dr. Zeke just said, sure, but you need to put this on. Whoa, what the? Did he just put on a hazmat suit? And is he giving me one now? Okay, okay, let me put this on. There we go, y'all. I have my hazmat suit on, and uh, I don't really know what the heck is going on, but uh, this patient must be real contagious if we have to wear these. Y'all, I have a bad feeling about this. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna say, uh, lead the way. He just said, all right, let's go. Oh, God, what is going on? Okay, y'all, I'm following Dr. Zeke, and he's leading me to the second floor. Homie just said, we've locked down the second floor this way. Oh, God, what am I about to see? I am nervous. How bad is this? Oh, oh, what on earth? happened up here he just said the patient is over here why are the walls like corroded and stuff this is insane okay you know what I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow him luckily i have this hazmat suit and the boots so i don't step in anything weird and then it looks like there's a a big glass and oh what the guys there's someone in there named patient alec he just said ah uh, my insides hurt whoa what the he's freaking out and running around right now bro What's wrong with this guy? He looks like he's in so much pain right now. Dr. Zeke just said, I know, I want to help him so badly, but we've tried every type of medicine around. We don't even know what exactly this gas is made of, so we can't even pinpoint the treatment. Wait, I guess now that you mention it, guys, there is this like weird gas, I don't know, around this dude. This is freaking nuts. He just said, at this rate, forget the extra funding. This hospital is going to get shut down. I bet the girls will be so happy to see that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, guys, here's the red flags for me right now. One, they don't even know where the heck this like weird chemical leak thing is coming from. And uh, also with an incident this big, this hospital will definitely have to shut down. And that means the girls will automatically get all of the funding they've been arguing about. Yeah, that sounds suspicious to me. I definitely have to talk to Carrie about this. All right, you guys, I am trying to follow Dr. Sabrina and Nurse Nora right now to see what this machine is that they're checking on. Oh wait, there they are, you guys. They're walking down the hallway. They haven't spotted me yet. So I guess my sneaky still skills are getting a little bit better, but they just stopped. What are they doing? Admiring the painting or something? Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, they just went through the painting. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was a secret door. Oh, this is bad. Okay, guys, people only build this kind of stuff when they are trying to hide something totally terrible. All right, I've seen this kind of thing before. That means, guys, I need to meet up with Dylan right now and tell him about this. This is 
not gonna be good. Guys, I am outside of the girls' hospital right now, and Dylan should be meeting up with me any second. Carrie, where are you? Ca Carrie. Oh, 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 oh Carrie. Dylan, hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. What are you wearing? Why are you in a hazmat suit? Uh, we have a situation. Uh, it is, it's bad. It's real bad. I also have bad news. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. So here's the thing. There's a, a dude in that hospital, right? Uh, he's sick. Very, very sick. And apparently what caused it was a crazy chemical leak that, uh, these guys don't know how to contain. Oh, that's really bad because, listen, I was accidentally eavesdropping on Dr. Sabrina and one of her nurses, and they were talking about how excited they were that the boys' hospital wasn't doing well, and then I followed them down a hallway. They jumped through a secret painting to go check on some type of machine. Whoa, wait, wait. Carrie, did they mention anything about the boys' hospital maybe getting shut down? Uh, yes. I'm no mathematician, but uh, one plus one equals two. And uh, it sounds like these girls are up to something. I'm pretty sure whatever was behind that secret painting in the hospital is leading to whatever is causing that crazy chemical leak in the boys' hospital. Oh, man, I've got to figure this out. But I need some help getting the girls out of the hospital so I can investigate. Well, lucky for you, this is my last time helping you with this stuff. But uh, I know how to take care of it. You you stay right here, okay? I'll, I'll get those girls away. Okay, you do you. All right, guys. So uh, this is the first time I'm in the girls' hospital, and uh, it is very, very pink, okay? My job is to create a ruckus so Carrie can uh, sneak in and investigate. Yes, I'm sorry, yelling. Let me go ahead and type in the chat. I'm going to say, uh, cough, cough. Uh, I am a boy inside of this pink hospital. I am so sick. I, I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm just saying stuff. Honestly, at this point, I just want to get people's attention. I don't even know where the heck the girls are supposed to be. But, uh, we're looking. Oh, 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 oh I, I see him. I see him. I see him. Hold up. Hold up. That is Dr. Sabrina over there. And she just said, what the, what's a boy doing in my hospital? I'm going to say, hello, ladies. <laughs> The nurse just said, get out of here, boy. She just said, what are you doing here? I'm going to say, uh, well, you, uh, you see, I'm, I'm sick. Duh. The doctor just said, okay, well, too bad because this hospital is for girls only. Now scram, bro. All right. I'm going to say, how dare you? You know what? I'll just get everyone here sick then. This is actually perfect since I'm in the hazmat suit. I'm changing into my regular outfit and I'm going to go cough, cough. <laughs> guys, Dylan is in there and he is making Dr. Sabrina really mad. Oh my gosh, guys. Dr. Sabrina just said, what? No, hey, don't you dare. She just said, we won't let you ruin our hospital. I'm going to say, uh, oh yeah? Well, catch me if you can. Oh wait, you probably can't because time to make ladies angry. Uh, you're fat. She just said, what did you say to me? All right, guys, you know what to do. Run! Oh man, why does he always do this? Oh, God. Okay. Run, 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 run. Hopefully, this is a good opportunity for Carrie to sneak in. Okay. You know, I honestly don't have time to drive away. I'm just gonna run. Oh, there they go. There they go. Okay. Okay, guys. Dylan has really ticked off the doctor and her nurse, but this is the perfect opportunity for me to get inside the hospital. All right. Here we go, you guys. I am running straight for that secret painting right now. Now it is time to see what the heck they are hiding behind this painting. We're going for it. Oh, and a creepy staircase into a creepy basement. That's totally not suspicious at all. What are they hiding down here? I'm just going for it. Oh no. This is the machine and guys, I don't know about you, but this is definitely looking like a chemical. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaked out. I've seen this kind of thing before and oh no, the tubes are literally leading through the wall underground. That must be what's connecting it to the boys' hospital, making people sick. I have got to report this because this is not okay. We are going straight to the cops. Oh no, it's the girls and oh, Dylan, what? They've got Dylan and what the heck did they do to his face? Dr. Sabrina just said, stop right there. Oh geez, guys, Dylan looks even worse close up. What did you do? to him. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really bad. Nurse Nora just said, we just gave him a little shot. Oh no, Dylan was right. They injected him with something and now he's probably gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. What am I gonna do? What did they give him? She just said, he'll survive. He won't remember any of this though, which is great. They messed with his memory. This is way worse than I thought it was gonna be. Dr. Sabrina just said, most importantly, what do you think you're doing down here, Carrie? Uh, uh, well, I, I know everything, okay? I, I see it all, and it's wrong. You need to stop right now, or else I'm 
going to the cops. All right, guys, I am just gonna try and freak them out. Maybe they'll drop Dylan and I can get the heck out of here. Dr. Sabrina just said, why would we stop? Once the boys' hospital gets shut down, all of the money will belong to us. Yeah, okay, money isn't everything, all right? What about boys' health care, okay? If you don't have a boys' hospital and y'all are girls only, the boys can't get any help. Dr. Sabrina just said, that's not my problem. As a doctor, I feel like it is. She said, honestly, if there are less boys in the world, great. And Nurse Dora said, yeah, why should we care about the dumb boys? I'm gonna say that's awful. Guys, she literally doesn't care if that means that boys can't get help when they're sick. Dr. Sabrina just said, I thought you'd be on my side since you're a girl too. But since you're not, it looks like we need to keep you from snitching. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that big syringe. Y'all, I don't do good with regular needles and I definitely don't do good with that one. Dr. Sabrina just said, don't worry, Carrie. This won't hurt one bit. I feel like it will. She said, it'll just make you forget everything you just saw. Guys, if I can't remember it, then they're gonna get away with this whole plan. And now that Dylan is knocked out, I have no idea how I'm getting out of this. And I'm cornered. Dr. Sabrina just said, now hold still. Oh, guys, she's getting closer to me. She is getting closer to me. I have got to figure something out or else me and Dylan are both doomed. She said, don't worry. If you get sick after this, we'll still take great care of you. As if I would ever come back to this hospital again. She just said, but for now, nighty night. Guys, I am cornered. I don't know how I'm going to get myself out. Guys, Sabrina just said, hide everything before the cops arrive. Hurry. I cannot believe that Dr. Zeke just came in right in the nick of time. And we actually got out of the hospital. I'm going to say, what the heck? How did you know where we were? Dr. Zeke just said, Dylan sent me a text about what happened while he was running away. Glad I made it in time. Yeah. Talk about making it in time. I thought I was toast. He said, the cops should be here soon. You should take Dylan home. Yeah, that's a good idea. But about Dylan, um, is he gonna be okay? I don't know what they gave him, guys. I don't know what was in that syringe, but they were gonna give it to me too. And is he gonna die? Dr. Z just said, he'll be fine. He just won't remember today. That's good. As long as he's safe and I'm safe. And actually, if he forgot this entire day, that means he will forget that I promised not to drag him into things like this ever again, which is also pretty good for me. And to be honest, I don't want to get involved in stuff like this ever again either. 